Well, I've been telling you about Hooflung Dung for the last couple of weeks. We've been using it at home. It's got a nice uh, aroma, uh, but I'll tell you what, you know it's working. It's a new mulch product from Neutrog, and uh, Dr. Yui's going to tell us about a little bit more about it. G'day, mate. How are you? Yeah, good, thanks. Uh, how are you yourself? Good. Excellent. Yeah, I guess uh, a lot of people will think, hey, it's probably a bit too early to mulch, uh, but I think it's never too early to mulch, to be honest, so... It does depend a little bit on, on the application. So, I mean, obviously, if you're going to be mulching things like your citrus trees or your flowering plants like camellias, I'd probably leave mulching another month or so because they like to get a bit of warmth into the ground so that the roots uh, can develop properly. But, uh, but for your vegetables, um, I guess you're really mulching this time of the year to keep your moisture in, uh, less to keep your moisture in and more to keep your weeds out. So... Um, you know, they compete for your nutrients, so we have to remember, as you just mentioned, spring is only around the corner and may not feel warm yet, but uh, the plants are waking up, and once those weeds germinate, um, they'll do that even given a few nice days. Yeah, look, my Queensland listeners listening to me through 4BC, I've been getting photographs from them during the week. They're already harvesting tomatoes, believe it or not. So in the warmer areas, you could start to get some of the hoo-flung dung out there for sure. I noticed in a press release that came out, happy birthday too, by the way, 30, 30 for Neutrog, uh, about the mulch from the hoo-flung dung and the weeds. That's a, a really interesting weed suppression. Well, that's right. We did a trial at the Adelaide Botanic Gardens um, and we put it down for eight months and they didn't have to pull or spray out a single weed in that period. So, And I've used it in my veggie patch uh, only about four, three centimetres thick and that was an area that was really overrun by weeds and it's been down for four weeks and I haven't seen a single weed rear its ugly head yet. So the other thing, of course, we know that from uh, our previous discussion that not all the mulches are the same. Some such as the ones like straw and wood-based ones, they have very low nitrogen, which means obviously that uh, they draw nitrogen out of your soil, thereby depriving your plants. And a lot of people are growing those leafy vegetables, and there you need your nitrogen to ensure you get a good uh, crop. So hoo flung dung has about 10% the level of nitrogen compared to, say, a straw or wood-based mulches. So you never end up with a nitrogen drawdown. Yeah, it's a real nightmare. Pine bark is a, can cause so much grief in gardens. Now, does hooflunk dung also influence the soil microbes? Because I, I, I'm, I'm betting that it does. Oh, it certainly does. It does it in two ways. I mean, firstly, it contains a lot of microbes because it's obviously a composter product. So that really helps in nutrient turnover. And then it contains more than just cellulose, so it feeds your microbes as well. So in our study, we showed that we can more than double the microbial activity of the soil by using hoo flung dung as a mulch. So I'd say it's probably the only mulch out there at the moment that does more than just keep moisture in and weeds down. It actually enriches your soil's biology. It stimulates those bacteria and fungi, and we know that they're so essential for a happy and healthy garden. Well, that was my comment to Dorothy in Queensland when she rang earlier this morning. Instead of getting the chemicals out there, I suggested getting the hoof lung dung out there. Uh, what a name, hoof lung dung from Neutrog. 30 years anniversary. Congratulations. Happy birthday. Hoof lung dung, of course, is now available at Mitre 10. Home Timber and Hardware Outlets right across the country. Mitre 10, Home Timber and Hardware. And, of course, you can also get at numerous, uh, all the good garden centres. Yui, thank you for throwing some hoof-lung dung at us. Not a problem. If you want to keep the smell down, just wet it down a bit. That, <laughs> they do a pretty good job keeping the smell down. <laughs> it, it sure does. I love it because it makes it, you know it's working. Thanks, Yui. No worries. Cheers. Bye Cheers, bye. buddy. Bye bye. That's who flung dunk. Well, I've been hoping to have a chat to you about that because it's such a great product.